Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Melina. We are back with a new login event. The new event is called Cozy Celebrations Event. As soon as I logged into my game, this pop-up occurred. So let's take a look at this pop-up. We have the Cozy Celebrations Event. Quest 1. Earn a festive hedge starter and row to get your yard looking holiday ready. This week's quest rewards. You have the Cozy Festive Reef. Then you also have the Festive Hedge. It looks to me that this event event is going to be less items than the previous event which was the reaper's rewards event i do have a playlist on it so i highly recommend you guys go watch that it's honestly unhinged so let's hop right into the chaos we're gonna start off with cast first create a sim let me introduce you guys to our sim eve winter i know the name's a little bit cliche but we're just gonna roll with it i also want to talk about her aspiration and her traits so eve's aspiration is friend of the world I thought that would be easier because in the Reaper's Reward event, we had to complete some of our aspirations. So maybe this is a little bit easier if we have to do that in this one. I'm not too sure. Eve's traits are cheerful. She's outgoing and a goofball. All right, guys, let's move on to the fun part. All of Eve's outfits. I will say at a glance, Eve is completely different from any of my other Sims. I got some new CC, so I experimented with it. And this is the outcome for Eve's outfit. I want to do something a little bit more casual laid back also with a nice cozy feeling that's why i thought this cardigan would work really nice on her you guys will see in her other outfits i'm loving the baggy jeans i didn't think i would like it but i downloaded a few of these baggy jeans and i think i'm gonna keep them in my game so this is eve's everyday wear her formal wear her athletic wear her sleep wear her party wear, her swim wear, her hot weather wear, and her cold weather wear. I'm so excited to hop into the game, so let's just go. Since this is a new save file, we're gonna select a season to play. I think it would be fitting if we chose winter because it is a cozy festive holiday event. The question is, where are we going to live? Maybe we go to Windenburg. Windenburg is my favorite world to live in, but what house do we choose? I just want a house that's already been made. In the next episode, I will get us a new house. I feel like I always live in this house or I live in this house. Are they the same? 30 by 20? 20 by 20. Oh, there's a house over here. The rustic residence. Oh, it's a two bedroom. I don't really want it. I think we'll live in this house because I feel like I always live in this one. So let's move to this one. We'll keep it furnished for now. Oh, right away, we have the first pop-up. Learning about traditions. So, so, I need your help to spread joy and cheer this holiday season. I've received a special mission to discover the wonderful traditions that people around the world share with their loved ones. I thought you could lend me a hand. Try talking with others or cooking something unique to connect with these traditions. Warmest wishes, Jasmine Holiday! That is so cute. They brought in Jasmine Holiday for this event. Looks like Eve is heading into the house. This is how our house is looking like right now. Actually, I need to change the lights because the light colors are so ugly. Oh, did I just open the light? I didn't mean to do that okay where is the set color intensity all lights and we're gonna change it to a neutral white i always do this because the default lights are yellow and they're so ugly well this is our house i believe there's an upstairs as well here's upstairs this is our bed we have no light in our bedroom i will fix this later guys i promise i actually got some better lights so now we can see i was kind of blinded for a second let's take a look at the tasks that we have to do so we got learning about traditions so first up we have to ask other sims about their holiday traditions we have to do that two times we also have to cook japcha japchae i always say this wrong but that dish is so good i'm so happy we're gonna make that dish eve we're really not gonna be reading because we're gonna travel i think there's a few bars and cafe around windenburg so we can meet some new friends I said I was gonna go to the bar or cafe first, but I actually wanted to introduce myself to the Bear Sisters. Are they home? Oh, we have Yugi over here. Oh, wait, are you gonna go say hi to Candy? Oh, are you gonna say hi to Candy or are you just gonna go on your phone? I know she's playing games, but we could play games together. Are you saying hi? Yeah, you are. Okay, love that. How's about day? How are you, Candy? Oh, she's playing games. Can I still say hi though? Oh, wait, I can't even click on her. I can't click on her because she's in this box. That's so funny. Oh, we're just sitting here chit chat and this box is in the way it's ruining the mood but whatever yugi can you stop the game we want to chat oh she stopped the game okay wait wait yugi can you come back i just want to do a friendly introduction to you i know you want to take a shower oh what was that bad mood about guys we're all friends here right hello 
Yugi, nice to meet you. Why don't we get to know the girls a little bit? Are they not getting along? Wait, why? You guys don't like Eve? What did Eve do? Oh, you know what? I forgot. We can ask about their holiday tradition. Ask about holiday traditions. Guys, why are we in a bad mood? Why are we feeling uncomfortable? My tradition may seem a little boring to some, but since this time of year can be so hectic, I mainly look forward to just relaxing with others and watching TV. Eve, did you even ask to use the game? I don't think you did. This is probably why the girls don't like you right now. I mean, I guess since we're up here already, let's just see how you do in this game. We still do have to ask Yugi about her holiday traditions. I wonder if we're gonna get a different answer from her. Eve, are you good? Eve, you're just standing there. You're not really doing much. Yugi came back. So we're gonna just ask her about her traditions as well. Hey Yugi, I was just wondering what do you do for Christmas? What do you do for the holidays? My festive traditions? I guess the thing I most fondly remember and always look forward is getting together and playing some retro video games. They don't make them like they used to. So candy was for TV and Yugi is video games. Reward unlocked. You've earned enough event points to claim a reward. Ooh, let's go. Let's take a look at the event page. We got cozy celebrations. Discover winter traditions traditions, collaborate with Jasmine Holiday, and earn event points for festive rewards. Quest 1. Learning about traditions. Jasmine needs help. She wants to know about festive traditions. We do get 110 EP for this. I'm curious to see the items that we're gonna get. Oh my god, look how cute this is. Oh my god, I love the festivity. So let's claim the first reward. What is it? Can I click on that? Cozy festive reef. There is a reason why things become classics. They just stand the test of time. Put this festive reef up and it'll bring that feeling of holiday nostalgia to your home. Looks like up next we're gonna get the festive hedge collection. Our next task is cloud gaze or stargaze. I wonder if I can do that now. I feel like it's a little bit gloomy outside. She can cloud gaze. Okay, let's go. Look how cute our girl is. Honestly, Eve is the type of person if you tell her make yourself at home, she's gonna make herself at home. We just completed the cloud gaze. We're back home so we are going to find Finally, cook the dish. Where is it? Oh, this is it. I guess we could do a party size of eight and we could probably invite some friends over. Oh, I'm sorry, Eve. She has to use the bathroom. Are you still gonna go? I mean, you're already up here. Just use the bathroom. I don't want you to pee yourself. Here we go. We are cooking our first dish. Oh, cooking is delectable. Flip those flapjacks, toss that sauce. Eve is in her element. Does she want to gobble up this opportunity to embrace that she likes cooking? You know what? Yes. Go right ahead, Eve. Oh, she's getting happy because of cooking are you yeah you're not the best you're probably just a level one honestly level zero of anything that was a lot of pepper are you sure you need that much pepper was that it that was quick learning about traditions nice work it looks like you're embracing the holiday spirit soon i'll bring you more exciting news as we continue our research reward event points keep cooking or reading about it to increase the skill wait was that it there's no way that was it what all right i guess we can go claim the last reward this one is the festive hedge collection congratulations you earned two rewards with the smaller festive starter hedge and the longer festive hedge roll combo both are available in a variety of color options what better way to lift the holiday spirit around your home it's cute i like it all quests completed you've completed all these quests keep going to unlock more rewards and check back for new quests are you serious there is no way that was it that was so easy compared to the reaper's rewards event took so much longer and there was so much more tasks to do wow what a letdown honestly that was such a letdown i'm not gonna end the episode quite just yet i do want to go to a cafe and meet a few friends oh oh i can't go because of the welcome wagon oh well hello who are you hello neighbor <gasps> oh i thought she was attracted to him but it's just a neutral attraction okay eve candy you're here hey candy oh eve learned about paulo's financial status are you our neighbor too i think you are what's your name oh ava i thought your name was eve as well oh new personality trait eve feels being proper is very important to her and seems to be spending more time on herself embrace the change of being proper you you guys already know the drill in the reaper's reward events i always said yes to a new personality trait sometimes it's good 
good and sometimes it creates chaos which i love so sure nice to meet you thanks for coming on over share some personal details i don't know about that girl gossip about neighbors sure candy will also talk to you as well actually candy i want to know your job i'm pretty sure she's a dj wait where did it go oh no it's gone let's start a rumor i'm not gonna lie i don't think we get along with ava she's kind of boring what are you doing paulo are you taking out my trash oh my god thank you am i in love or what is this love at first sight candy why are you over here don't tell me you like him as well girl that's not cool we saw him first candy you seem a bit close to paulo is there something i should know before i start anything with him should i ask candy how she feels about him wait don't go back inside i want to ask you how you feel about him wow they're like glued to each other are you guys a thing let me just ask i think it's relationship other sims ask about another sim i'm gonna ask how candy feels about paulo candy how do you feel about paulo paulo is one cool sim i like him as a friend or more than a friend why don't we ask paulo the same thing i would like to know how you feel about candy oh oh what whoa whoa what's going on guys oh give fake bad news oh my god i forgot eve's a goofball candy is one cool sim i like her okay you guys are telling me you like each other but what do you mean like each other oh paulo's embarrassed do you think paulo likes candy but candy doesn't like paulo oh my god is he asking to move in with candy oh wow drama in the neighborhood already who are you marcus oh are you a neighbor okay we'll say hi to you did someone eat the fruitcake oh my god no please guys this area is crowded i can't even see you guys behind the stairs please stop this nonsense all right hi marcus nice to meet you look these two have been talking to each other non-stop is something going on guys candy Paulo. all right guys i think i'm going to wrap it up here this was a very short episode but we got some drama going on i don't know if candy and paulo are a thing or if it's just paulo who likes candy and candy's oblivious to it or maybe candy's leading paulo on but we will see what happens in the next episode if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on notifications so that way you never miss a video and i'll see you guys in the next video